Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. Master, we pray tonight that you speak to us and we want to thank you for this far you have brought the Victor's Chapel. Victor's Chapel. This far you have brought your servant bishop together with his leadership. Mighty God, we have no words but just to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. For we have come to celebrate. We have come to lift up our voice and say thank you. Thank you for the good work that you have done through your servant. Our eyes can only see a bit of what is yet to come because out of here you are releasing in to the nations. It's going farther than here for the glory of your name. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus name. I do pray. Shout amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you please turn with me to the book of First Kings chapter number 8. I want to take very few minutes. First Kings chapter number 8. I read verse 1. Then I jump on to verse 25. Then Solomon assembled the elders of Israel and all the heads of the tribes, the chief of the fathers of the children of Israel unto King Solomon in Jerusalem. That they might bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the city of David which is Zion. I go to verse number 25. Therefore now O Lord God of Israel keep thy servant David my father that, that thou promised him saying there shall not fail thee a man in my sight to sit on the throne of Israel so that thy children take heed to their, to, to thy, their way that they walk before me as thou hast walked before me and now, O oh God of Israel, let thy word, I pray thee, be verified, which thou speakest unto thy servant David, my father. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold the heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain thee how much less this house that I have built. Yet have thou respect unto the prayer of thy servant and to his supplication. O oh Lord my God to hearken unto the cry and unto the prayer which thy servant prayeth before thee today. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. I said it's a great honor to be here today. I was praying and asking God what message do I bring to Victor's Chapel on such an occasion? I had so many messages prepared. Message like the power of the altar. What the altar can do to a community. Message on celebrating the presence of God. For what he has done to us. And all these messages. But the Lord was putting a word in my spirit. He said to me. Go and tell Bishop. And the people that have come that this day today marks a new beginning they are going to cross the line so my message today is you are crossing 
the line Unavuka line and he reminded me this yani hivi. when we were still in school bado shuleni, on the closing day siku ya kufunga, when we were to close school tufunga shuleni, we had this behavior tulikuwa na tabia hii of closing with somebody ya kufunga na mtu. you would tell somebody we are closing with you mtu, na wewe. and at the end of the closing day mula tukifunga, you go outside to wait for them pale. and as they come out of school shuleni, you draw a line unaweka line and you tell them unawambia, kwawe modurume, kama ni manaume, cross this line pita and if they dare cross it pita, then the battle begins pita inanza, and the Lord spoke to me and he said akasema, there comes a time in somebody's life where he has to cross a line lazima, avuke, mpaka. a man of God Mutuamu. you have struggled Umengangana. you have built this wonderful sanctuary but in the spirit realm the Lord is saying as we celebrate this building in the world of the spirit you are crossing a certain line there are things you are going to do that you have never done in your ministry there are places you are going to go that you have never gone in your ministry there are people you are going to meet that you have never met in your ministry and that is the message that the Lord gave to me to come and tell you that you are crossing the line and everybody who came here today I prophesy to you you are crossing a certain line come on somebody say amen look at your neighbor and say neighbor in this occasion in the spirit realm you are crossing a line there is a line drawn by the devil there is a line drawn by your relatives there is a line drawn by your enemies they say whatever you do this line you cannot cross but I come as a prophet of God and I declare in the name of Jesus from this day you are crossing that line if you believe it shout a bigger amen shout a bigger amen you will do what you have never done you will go where you have never gone I see you in a big platform I see you in a better place come on look at that neighbor and say neighbor if there is a line that you will never drive you will never build you will never go up a certain level from today that line is broken in the name of Jesus shout a bigger amen shout a bigger amen shout and say I'm crossing the line on this day airports will receive you or from this day a nation will receive you from this day words from your mouth will bring out a miracle in the name of Jesus shout a bigger amen and he said to me the enemy uses lines to every man and every woman that God intends to use in every place on the earth he uses lines there are lines that are drawn but David says in Psalm 16 and verse 6 he says my lines my lines are drawn in pleasant places I say amen to the Lord and I have a goodly inheritance 
I prophesy to you today every line that was drawn by the enemy against you against your children against your businesses against your generation that follows you from this day as we celebrate the altar of God those lines are broken in the name of Jesus say amen to the Lord Jesus shout a bigger amen why does the enemy draw lines he draws lines so that you can't so that he can limit your life stop your generation frustrate your life and vision stop your prophetic agenda but my God has a certain behavior he is a line crosser my God is a line crosser actually he has a very bad behavior he looks for lines he comes looking for lines and he keeps asking where did they draw them where did they draw the lines he comes to a home and finds a home where the lines are drawn my father walks through the lines and breaks them say amen to the lord come on say amen now look at that neighbor on your right on your left and tell them as we dedicate this building your lines are being broken tonight uh, you're not saying it like you believe it if your neighbor is not talking to you know that they are not really wishing you well <laughs> that line that has been drawn by people they said you cannot pass here you cannot pass here i said to you you will pass you will go beyond that line there will be another level for the glory of god shout a bigger amen shout a bigger amen Amen. Hallelujah. When God met Abraham, there was a line drawn that Abraham will die a barren man in a land of pagans. God said to Abraham, I am breaking this line because I'm making you a father of many nations. My father is a line breaker. He meets Moses, a coward word and a stammerer and he says Moses together with your cowardice together with your stammering I am breaking the lines and he broke the lines crossed the Red Sea brought out the children of Israel he became a leader I say to you your lines are being broken in the name of Jesus shout a bigger amen when you look at the scriptures you'll discover God is a line breaker tell your neighbor by next year this time everyone talking against you will change their speech ah somebody help me with a big amen in here come on look at that neighbor again and say neighbor next year this time everyone that limited you and say they know you they know your family they know what you cannot do they know what you are able to do but they limited you by drawing a line next year this time they will change their statement they will say I didn't know because you met a God who is a line breaker as we dedicate this building allow me to speak that rhema that God gave me as we dedicate this building child of God God is saying 
He is just setting you up. Tayarisha for breaking lines in this community. This altar will do wonders. It has done before but now it's going to another level. It will do wonders. This altar will produce Kings, rulers, men of authority, men of power, men of vision, women of power, anointed servants. Come on, somebody say amen to the Lord. Hallelujah. I asked myself, Lord, show me a little bit about the lines. And he said, Akasema. my governor, e, governor, he said, Akasema. the enemy Adui. draws lines in places you cannot reach. Kwa maineo, I said, God, help me to understand. He took me to the story of Daniel. Daniel, Daniel began to pray. Daniel for a revelation to come. And the moment he began to pray, the prince of Persia drew a line. And on that line, he was preventing anything that is from heaven that was designated for Daniel not to come to Daniel. And he was succeeding. Until heaven put a signal. And they said we need a backup. Because the line is heavy. Daniel has been praying for 21 days. And this thing is not going through. For 21 days. The line is drawn. The enemy is standing. Preventing heaven. From releasing to you. I say today. Anything. Held in the heavenlies. That belongs to you. That you have been praying for. Is going to be released. I say it's going to be released. I say double double. Ah, say amen to Jesus. Say amen to the Lord. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, they are coming. They are coming double double. Anything that you prayed for in 2000, anything you prayed for in 2001, 2002, 2003, up to date, whatever was accumulated and the enemy is holding that line, I decree it is broken in the name of Jesus. That kumbe lines can also be drawn in ministry. Woman of God, kumbe lines can be drawn in ministry. Apostle Paul says in First Corinthians sixteen nine. I'm waiting for it so that we can read together. He says, Asema, for a great and effective door has opened to me and there are many adversaries kumbe, kumbe shetani pia neza chora kamstari kwa huduma yeah. si kwamba huna upako mm -hmm. we na maguta You are prayed, and there's a door that is opened. Not opening, opened. It is open. but the enemy comes and draws a line. I pray. Naomba. 
that even lines drawn for you will be broken. Somebody didn't hear what I said. I said lines Lining. can be drawn. You are a minister of the gospel. Doors are opening that will change your ministry. Because not all doors are good doors. And all doors are not the same. There's a door you appear once. Your whole ministry changes. There are so many champions. There are so many anointed, powerful prophets in the villages. But Lakini, that door haijaonekana tuleonekana mlagochi anaitwa KBC mm. KTN KTN citizen citizen anaondoka asubuhi mm. kufika hapa eh wapi town gani iko hapa karibu sagana sagana gari na knock engine sagana Unatoa tai, unaingia chini, unaita mechanic, anakuja anasema kwena kaudu, kanyamu, kathu, no kanyamu kaka, katikio na kaona nyere, nongi nyana irobi. Niyo kwetelela? Mutasumiri kilo wanasema mechanic. Nadogo tinga gari ya huu. Na utacha gari ya kukwala. Then you call citizen. Unaita citizen. Paul, I cannot make it. They tell you, thank you. We will call you back when another opportunity arises. It disappears. Lines drawn. You are almost there. But the more you go closer, the more the boundaries changing. The more things keep changing. I came to announce tonight as we dedicate this altar, you are crossing those lines. I say you are crossing those lines. You will change your vision from your file, from your briefcase into a reality in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see what you have been dreaming about. You will handle a greater vision. Say amen to the Lord Jesus. If it is to travel, you will travel. If it is to build, you will build. If it is to do crusades, you will do crusades. Those lines are broken. I say those lines are broken. Shout a big amen to the Lord. Ah, touch your neighbors and neighbor. Those lines are broken. I also saw Kumbe lines can be drawn at birth. I saw a story in the Bible, man of God. In the book of Revelation 12, verse 5. It speaks of something that was happening in heaven. Let me, let me go back to verse number 3 and see another sign appeared in heaven behold a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth. What was the purpose of, the, of this dragon? To devour the child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness. Let me not go on with the story. I saw that portion of scripture and I realized the enemy also 
targets people before birth. And then he targets anybody who is about to give birth. Whatever you are pregnant with. Whatever vision you carry. Whatever dream you have. The enemy is waiting. To draw a line over it. But the Bible says, as soon as she gave birth, heaven came down. God took the child and took the child to the throne. Today, any vision you carry, any dream you have, any future that has been prophesied, no devil will take it. I say, no devil will take it. I say, no devil will take it. Because God will come in and take it. Your future will be preserved. Am I talking to somebody here? I say your future will be preserved. Your ministry will be preserved. Your businesses will be preserved. Your ambitions will be preserved. I'm glad I'm speaking in, in Nyeri. I, I love Nyeri. Nyeri ni kudu Nyeri ni kudu muno muno Amen. My first encounter with a, a very loyal member in my church was a Nyerian. Back in the days, and Bishop knows it. And he was very, he was very excellent, excellent. excellent. When I was doing his marital counseling, back in the days, that was the, was the first governor. Amen. Amen. He passed through my my ministry. And so I'm glad I'm speaking in Nyeri. A, a very good place. With one of the best people. Actually, the reign of the reign of Kibaki. We had the best peace. The best peace. I'm not saying Muranga Nikuru. Oh, you are from, oh, okay, now 10 10. You have equalized the whole equation. She is born in Muranga, married in Nyeri. I say, every one of your dreams. After this consecration of this building, none of it will die. The amen is weak. I say none of your dreams will die. And every dream that stagnated, you are leaving this place with a special anointing. Every stagnated project will come back to life. If you believe it, shout amen. Shout a bigger amen. Wave your hand and shout a bigger amen. Okay, I also saw Kumbe lines can be drawn on the soil. Jeremiah says in Jeremiah 22 and verse 29 I'm just finishing. Jeremiah 22, 29 He says Anasema, I'm waiting for it. Oh, earth, earth, earth. Ainti, ainti, ainti. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Right. And he came. This man 
down as childless a man who shall not prosper in his days for none of his descendants shall prosper sitting on the throne of David and ruling anymore in Judah God was addressing the earth the line was being drawn on the soil no wonder there are people who suffer because there is a line already drawn. But I come to tell you whatever the earth where you come from has been written. Whatever it has been commanded to do after you have come from this altar dedication everything that the earth is carrying with your name is rubbed off in Jesus name you will be blessed in the land you will be blessed in the city you will be blessed in the, in the rural areas whatever your hand will touch will be blessed shout a big amen to the Lord last but not least Kumbe lines can be drawn on children. A family can be so prosperous. And yet there is a line drawn. Ladies and gentlemen, what God is doing here tonight is bigger than what our eyes can see. Look at the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 20. It says, 12 20. Jesus was giving an example of man of God. He was saying, Now there were seven brothers. The first took a wife. Dying, he left no children. The second one took her. He also died. He also didn't have children. And the third one also took the same woman. He also died without children. The fourth one also took the same woman. Last of all, the woman also died. There were seven graves in a home of this wonderful man. And there was nobody to take over. Even the woman herself died. There was a line drawn on the family. Today, now, you look at some families. They are operating with a certain line. They can have degrees. But all the degrees don't, don't bring back to them. I was invited to a home. To go and conduct a funeral service. And man of God, they say to me, this one is special. Because after burial, we don't know who is going to remain in the home. Because this is the last person that remained in that home. So as you pray, pray that God raises somebody who will take care of the cows that, are, that you can see, the chicken, the dogs. Because after the burial, to, to Narudisha Gate, but surprisingly, my bishop, because they arrange houses like on this side, on this side, houses of the sons. The first son was a surgeon. Head surgeon. Died in the US. No child. The second one was a great lawyer. Died in Nairobi. 
no child hamna mtoto hamna uzao another one was a lecturer mwingine alikuwa alikuwa mkufunzi but they built houses walijenga nyumba wewe kwa na nyumba na kwa na nyumba ulio kuna nyumba na nyumba wewe they built houses walijenga nyumba you walk there you are like you are in kileleshwa or lavington unaingia pale kama kileleshwa au mko lavington but graves by the side of the houses lakini makaburi kando ya kila nyumba they said pray wakasema omba that god hivi kwamba mungu will remember this home atakumbuka kwamba kumbuka kwamba tonight usiku usiku yes we prayed yes we prayed omba and god did things there but tonight tonight in the pattern that is following your family kila taratibu inaofuata jamii yako anything that has drawn a line over your people kila ishara ya mchoro wa line katika jamii yako as we pour oil on this ground tunapomwaga mafuta katika ardhi hii let the anointing break every line that was drawn over your life wacha mafuta upoko ivunje kila mistari shout a big amen, amen. Look at that home. Angalia boma hilo. Seven boys. Jamaa vijana wa saba. One, mmoja, no vision. Hamna maono. Ni mmoja tu alipata maono, akapata msichana na akaleta. Mm. Wengine wote wanaonanga huyu. Mm. Huyu anaenda next. Mm. De ha, ni hiyo tu yao. Then number two, they had no children. Number three, they died young. All of them died young. And nobody realized. As I was praying man of God. I, I will keep repeating that. God gave me this word. That tonight in this service in as much as I would have spoken something else. But he said tonight you are crossing the line. Tunavuka line hizo and everybody in this house that came to this celebration i say to you you are crossing the line if you believe it, shout a big amen shout a big amen and listen you are not just crossing lines that are drawn by men you are even crossing lines that are drawn by God himself 2nd Kings chapter 20 speaks about Hezekiah Bible says Isaiah the prophet came to him with the word of the Lord and he said to Hezekiah put your house in order because the lines are drawn you are not going past this time because you are going to die Hezekiah knew this line has been drawn by Jehovah himself he said to himself even if it is God I will deal with this line I will destroy this line can I tell somebody tonight even if you had a prophecy and somebody was a good prophet prophesied to you and said you will not leave by the anointing in this house by the power of God and the name of Jesus that is lifted in this house you are breaking that line you will leave and not die you will possess your possessions you will do great things in the name of Jesus somebody shout and say hallelujah shout a bigger hand yeah. to the Lord you are breaking the line I say you are breaking the line they drew the line on Jephthah they said Jephthah you can't
cannot inherit here because you are a son of a harlot. Jephthah ran away, but God broke that line. Jephthah came back as a captain over the army of God and he became a leader over the people of God. They drew the line on Joseph. They said, Joseph, we don't need you here. We will sell you, take you to another country. When Joseph came back, the line was withdrawn. I say every line over your life. Ah, I say every line over your life. Ah, somebody is not getting this. I say every line over your life. Maybe I should tell these people. I say every line over your life is broken in the name of Jesus. I say it's broken. Your children will get education. You will have land in your name. You will prosper in this life. Ah, let me talk to these people now. Every line over your life either by witchcraft or by powers of darkness they are withdrawn today from this day whatever vision you have you are passing that line I say you are passing that line you will get where you want shout a bigger amen shout a bigger amen they may have even talked about your family and they have said destroyed shout a big amen to the Lord from the anointing in this house from the consecration of this building all the lines thrown on you shall never stand I say they shall never stand shout a big amen did I preach in Kikuyu did I just preach in Kikuyu oh Okay. Can you help me tell seven people? Look for seven people and tell them every every line, every line, drone, 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 drone is destroyed from today on this altar. From today on this day. From today as we dedicate this beautiful altar. Let the glory of God come. Let the lines be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. I just want to pray. I just want to pray. How many desire that the lines be broken? Can I see you lift up your hands unto the Lord? You're saying, Father. I want all the lines be broken. Listen, let me tell you, let me just give you a last one. There is a family in the Bible who had a line drawn, man of God. Woman of God. The Bible is full of surprises to us. There is a family they are called the Rechabites. There was a line drawn on the Rechabites. In Jeremiah 35. Can you put it up? I just want to give you that and then I pray. Listen. God had a concern over the Rechabites. So he came to the prophet. Verse 1. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. 
in the days of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah saying to him go to the house of the Rechabites speak to them I wish you had a kikui one it becomes heavy Amen. Now, Omahe Divai, make it Divai in this case does not mean drunkenness. It stands for celebration. Cheers. Omahe Divai, Divai, Go back to English. That one now. Yeah, it's, yeah. Go back to English. Then I took Jazania, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Habazinia, mm. his brothers and all his sons, and the whole house of the Rechabites. Mm. Arekab. And I brought them into the house of the Lord. Into the chamber of the sons of Hanan, the sons of Igdalia, mm. a man of God, which was by the chamber of the princess, yeah. about the chamber of Masaya the son of Shalom, the keeper mm. of the door. Mm. Then I set before the sons of the house of Rechabites mm. bowls full of wine and cups and I say to them, drink. What did they say? Go back to Kikuyu. Okay. No, no my shock yatere. Either we to tinyu ara antive. Nyodo. Either we to atene. Jonadabu. Muroare kabu. Ne atu tiyeire wado. Akiuga atere. Multikana nyu antive. Inyu ene kana shiaroshia nyu. Go ahead. Ningere. Multikana kenyoba. Kana kana muade beo. Kana muade megoda ya mithafifu Muti kanagie na keido ona kemwe Keido ishio Norele Mugotora muika laga ya maine Hedeo Nurugatora matuko maike hororioyo Muika laga ya mure ageni There was a line drawn by the ancestors and they died long time ago and so they are living on the borders of those lines I don't know who is here tonight I speak into the ancestors graves and I say any word spoken hindering you from progress be broken today I say it may be broken today in the name of Jesus say a big amen to the Lord shout a big amen amen Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. whatever my ancestors said, whatever curse they released, whatever limitations they brought, whatever line they drew, I cancel those lines in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout yes. Shout yes, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you something? I don't know who I came to talk to. But I want to prophesy this. Only for funerals. In your family. From today. I see house, house openings. I see graduations. I see uh, weddings. I see celebrations in your home. Come on, somebody shout a big amen. 
Shout a bigger amen. Hallelujah. Hey, shout a bigger amen. Hallelujah. Do you know, man of God, there are families today who they never meet their aunties, uncles in any other meeting but funerals. There's no weddings because there's no wine. There's no celebration of Toshosho because there's no wine. There's no opening of house. It's just an argument because it doesn't happen. But I say today, that thing is broken. The next meeting that will take place in your home will even be a birthday for your mother, a birthday for your father. Man of God, when I saw this scripture, I said to my family, My mother has never known birthday. And she gave birth to us. We are many, you know the number. My father had three. And each one of them, governor, had more than 10, 10 children. My own mother had 15. Clap for that man. He... Clap for him. More. So, I say to my siblings, Nikambia <laughs> you know, I was born and brought up in Joro. So, Kuna Mali Pareto Kehingo. Kuna Mali Pareto Kehingo. Ajawado. Nasto Biri. Narumwe. Amen. Amen. So, you put tents. Unaweka hem. Unaweka hem. Namuige hem. Area, 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 Nairobi. <laughs> So I said, evangelist, I said, we have to do a, a birthday party for my mother, even though she doesn't know her, her date of birth. I just said, let's do it. My mother was surprised. People came from every corner, and she was like, she began to ask my sister. Nani amekufa? Nani amekufa? Nani amekufa? No wadi. No wadi. Nani amekufa? No wadi. Sijawai yona watu kama hawa. Wana kutanga tu wakati mutu amekufa. Akambiwa apana. Tumebadilisha. Tunokusherekea ukiwa hai. Akasema ya. Alipoletewa nini keki. Anauliza hii ni nini. So inakuli wangu haje. Tukakata. Anapewa na kijiko, anashika. Anaambiwa uma, imebewe kwa kwa uma, weka kwa mdomo, na, anakamata hiyo uma, nazema lete hapa. <laughs> Unaniwekea kwa mdomo ya nini? Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Can you look at four people and tell them from today? From today. In your family. People will not just meet. Because of funerals. People will not just give because of funerals. They will start giving to 
to even buy a piece of land as a family they will begin to give to boost each other's businesses can I hear somebody shout a big amen they will start giving to support those that are going to college because God is doing a new thing wave your hand and say the line is withdrawn in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you will build your house you will own your land you will own your own vineyard you will be permanent where God places you if you believe it shout a big amen in the name of Jesus lift up both hands as I pray tonight God raise the altar even Solomon when he began to pray he was praying prophesying on that altar lines were being broken I pray from today lines in this community lines in this area lines in this city are broken from today in the name of Jesus and this altar will be an altar of breaking lines lines of sickness diseases plagues every kind of evil will be broken from today in the name of Jesus 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 lift your hands if you can stand please go ahead and stand on your feet my message was not that complicated but it was simple man of God you are crossing that line where you have reached there is a bigger place ahead of you can I say what I see I see big trucks for evangelism big trucks living Karatina going to Entebbe Uganda going to Dar es Salaam the man of God is going to be lifted so high because this place is going to be a springboard that will break the lines what others have not been able to do in this country you will do it in the name of Jesus what others Others have not been able to occupy. You will occupy in Jesus' name. Woman, woman of God. You know, sometimes it's very hard to speak what God shows you. Because sometimes it sounds ridiculous. But I see this house being a house of breaking lines anybody who will walk into this house and there are lines drawn the moment you walk in those lines dissolve you walk out with freedom and man of God I'm seeing great things over you and mama great things I see a replica of this cathedral in other counties God God is bringing you sons that will not give you a headache. Sons that will be a blessing. People that will speak into your life and add value to you. 
because the lines Kwa sababu mistari are broken and everyone here you are not leaving this place the same way you came all the lines all the lines in your life tonight are broken and your house will be a house where lines are broken I say your house will be a house where lines are broken. Any statement made by people will not stand. It is what God says that will stand. Lift up those hands. Say my father in the name of Jesus. Out of your word I release my faith. Out of what you have spoken, out of what you have spoken, I release my faith. I release my faith. I know today. I know today. As we dedicate this building, as we dedicate this building, my lines, my lines are broken. Are broken. Lines in my family. Lines in my family. Lines in my own life. Lines in my own life. Lines in my ministry. Lines in my ministry. Lines in my business. Lines in my business. Lines in my investments. Lines in my investments. Lines in everything that I have. Lines in everything that I have. Are broken today. Are broken today. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Rabu Keep lifting up your hands. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. As we dedicate this house, Lord, let your glory come. Let your power come. Let your presence fill this house. May the anointing of the breaker begin to release power upon everybody's life. Breaking every line. Breaking every line. Breaking every line. Breaking every line. In the name of Jesus. And I pray from this day, being this day of dedicating this building, let it be a day where your testimonies will begin to flow. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That clap is not good enough. Clap better, clap better, clap better. I will ask Wangunjiri, please join me. As we pour oil on this soil. We are dedicating this building. We are dedicating this compound. This will be a line-breaking place. <laughs> Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Amen. Then immediately after we pray. I want you for once to be very serious. Get a seed. Amen. Amen. Get Patanini. Get a what? Patanini. A seed. We are going to sow like never before. Can I hear an amen? So that that point sinks home. Tell that neighbor, get a seed. Connect onto this mountain. The lines are broken. This will be like the mountain where Moses was. The lines were broken. When he came down from the mountain, Jethro saw him coming. He saw glory on him. He asked his wife, what's, happen what's happening to that boy? He's coming with haste. Telling Jethro, he appeared to me. He's sending me to Egypt to bring out my people. From this mountain, lines are being broken. And there are some of you that will be saviors of your own father's house. Hallelujah. Amen. 
want the woman of God, she will say something before we pray. And, and also pray. As we stand in the presence of God, I want us to make a commitment. Somebody led by the Holy Spirit said, Your commitments shape your life more than anything else. Your commitments can develop you or they can destroy you. But either way, your commitments will define you. We want to make a spiritual commitment that wherever God will take us from now, we are going to be committed to worship God with our hearts, our minds, and everything God has given us. As we draw the line, the Lord has already drawn the line we are getting to another level I'm praying for the spirit of commitment commitment that is going to define our lives Bishop for those lecker bites that are were intent I've been intent for 10 years I've been in a tent for 10 years the time for the tent is a church to go we are going to make a commitment I can see, I can see, I came with men today. I came with about 30 men. can I hear you? Those, Some of them came drunk in church. Majority are matato drivers. I am their mother. They came to learn. I'm here to tell you, my sons, that we are joining the church today. And we are making a commitment now. Unless, unless you uphold somebody else's ministry, you cannot go anywhere. Unless you acknowledge the anointing in somebody else, you cannot go anywhere. We are making a spiritual commitment right now to the glory of God as we honor the servant of the Mosai. Because each one of us is living this place different as we make a commitment. Worship is a lifestyle. It is not just singing. Worship is a commitment. And now that we have worshipped in singing, we are going to worship in dedicating, committing ourselves that God Almighty, I am committed to give. I am committed to give you. And Jehovah will honor this to the glory of his name. Heavenly Father, we are making a commitment by is planting a seed here that is going to change our ministries our lives our families in the name of jesus a commitment that is going to draw a line for nyeri county a commitment that is going to draw a line for kenya in the name of, of jesus christ that is going to define our lives that is going to define our political lives that is going to define jehovah the political direction Direction, that is going to define the peace of Kenya, that is going to define the success of our ministries, that is going to define the success We want to worship you with our commitments. We want to worship you with our commitments. And now in the name of Jesus, after Otaburukia, we're going to make the commitment. Thank you for the flavor you are lifting us. Thank you for the fire you are taking us. <laughs> it is what you worship yes. that controls your life. Yes. It is what you worship, not what you know. But what you worship defines you, controls you. Right now, let us worship God by giving Him the best right now. Because everything about us is changing right now to the glory of your name. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, back to the servant of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And Father, today, as we pour this oil on this soil, we dedicate this land into your able hands. And we pray that this land will speak good things to the entire community, to the entire nation, to the entire continent, 
out of this land God you are breaking lines of people's lives you are raising oh God a voice that is above every other voice in the name of Jesus you are shifting people's lives and you are causing them oh God to be a people that will worship you a people that will be defined by their worship I pray today this land this sanctuary will be filled with your glory will be filled with your presence will send out missionaries will convert men and women will make servants of God that are going to touch the nation and touch the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Lord take over take over in this place take over in everything take over my Father, be glorified, be exalted, be exalted in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Praise God, praise God. Now, in that, in that spirit. Amen. Oh, that's more oil? Maybe they want... Amen. We are done. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. In that mood, I want everyone to get a seed offering and bring it here. We will not leave this place until you bring it all here. Amen. For your church, for yourself, if you need an envelope, please, the ushers are here. If you have it on M-Pesa, the pay bill number is up on the screen. In the name of Jesus. You, you can bring the phone if after, after you send you come with your phone you touch the altar with that phone then you go back in the name of Jesus you see the numbers there the M -Pesa P, uh, pay bill number 480-767 do it quickly in the name of Jesus do it quickly in the name of Jesus do it quickly in the name of Jesus do it as the Lord leads you for the glory of the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God is removing you from a certain level to another level I've always, every time I pass through your place, every time I pass through your place, I, the kind of building I see, I cannot even mention. It's a building worth billions. A building that is magnificent. A building that many people will come to borrow leave from it. In the name of Jesus. God has given us a gift in the person of Wangonjiri. And we celebrate her greatly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That tent is just there for a time. The building coming up. It's going to be a Nelson building. Just like what I see when I go to, when I pass through Moravis church. In Tena. A big powerful building is coming up. Somebody shout a big amen as you come. May God bless your lives. In the name of Jesus. There are people who will build their own houses. You will build a house. That will be a great house. You will establish your life. Your children will rejoice. They will say this is what we always want. Because God is glorified. In the name of Jesus. And if the Lord speaks to you. On a special offering. A different offering please bring a piece of paper write it down whatever God is speaking to you write it down and bring it here and your phone number in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Bishop 
Yes. And just go ahead and tell them. We are here together with my sister. Thank you. It's such an honor. Amen. So for those of us who are in ministries, the churches, and we want to see this and more of this, get an envelope, write the name of your ministry on top and the commitment you'll give, not only right now, no, here any time in the course of the week, we are doing that starting with the prayers, the old boundaries ministries. And then what you want to see, because we are breaking the lines, we are getting there to the glory of God. If you feel you are in a call, we met any guy to do something. I don't want to meet one more than in October. We are going to meet you. Maga hari amari. Mari na ne meet one more than. Adekare to waria kurka na to wakio ne kikia kiriawe na kio. Adekare bahasha oko hodi oheane. No ridi kana go tiri modo kageda ataha dete. No modo waha dire ogetere la mageda. Ari amataha dire go ko ira me tere me tere go tare kedo. Kaidrin servants of God do exactly that to the glory of God. We adekare to waria ministry jinaya ministry jinaya. Huduma, Jenjina, the call. Adorama matura manya de kagera from Karatina. Ati demwe tene gai gari huo to do right exactly that the call. Give whatever and to the glory of God. Thank you. That is for prayers beyond boundaries. Imekuja. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And there's so much we are connected. Tunangani kwa mama mengi sana. Wangunjiri myself and you. You are architect. Ngunyi. He's right there. He's also my architect. He's the, he's the man behind our building in Nairobi. Amen. And for her, her advocate, the one who fights for her in court, is the chairman, the chair lady of the CDC and is a friend to, a friend to him. Amen. Bishop, can I add? Yes. Bishop, Dr. William officiated the wedding of my son. Mwana umete de no. Na dona jeta. Ni kwa ni COVID, ni COVID. Oh ni COVID. Ni COVID. And another one, the governor of the city. Yes. The gentleman seated here. Yes. Are we to 1995? He's afraid to my husband. Are we to Korasia? Nageda hi Kenyiri. Oyo governor. Eh. Ni kio dora ga demu ho ya gira. Oyo mudenya no tu ko oyo oyo. Oyo dora ga ho ya gira. Are we to kuga ga ka kaire tu. Karadi enyere, that was before you were born, 28 years ago. <laughs> this gentleman. Nimurai wo rojio. Ah, husband to my husband, a friend to my husband. Dwale mosi are but I understand. Hallelujah, amen. Thank you. Now I can see it because you have spoken to me. Amen. Speak it again. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It is going to be well. That tent will transform into a big, magnificent building. A building that will honor God. I, I said it. I said it as I was as I was praying. Every time I pass through your place. Because I passed through there and I see the big tent. There was one time I drove in. I drove in and I walked inside and I walked out and I drove away. Every time I see that tent, the Lord reveals to me a magnificent, powerful building. And I believe it's going to be there soon. Wherever God will take you, the building will be one of the best that we have ever seen. This one, ah, this one is just amazing. Amen. Amen. Bishop, we thank God for you. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate God for Bishop.